Levi's Sherpa trucker jacket today. That's really nice. It's a nice like washed out black. Yeah. And then the interior is like that black Sherpa. Look at it. It looks so good. Literally almost brand new condition. Probably barely worn. Yeah. Here's the inner tags. Everything's in tabs. Look nice. At it. Nice. Anybody interested? Message me. Holla. Or Soul find here. It's a good one, actually. One of their. Maybe like, use a two dollar off. Uh, if you want them to make it five dollars, <laughs> we'll, we'll save it more. Four dollars for four dollar and nine. One's in there only. I mean, this one's pretty good. Let's see. How much is it for everything? Twenty five. These are all, no, these are evolutions. That one's OG. You never know. This one was really, this one's really cool. That's like their promo. What did you find? What did you find? Just uh, this is cool. Well, that is cool. I like the Spello ones. I've had a few in the past, but I've never had this color in. I mean, this color on this color is weird. Being Canada, 90s Club Monaco. And then a Ramon shirt, but it's dead stock. I mean, it has the tag still on it. Oh, nice. I don't know what the date is on this one. I'm gonna say 2000. I'm gonna show you guys this metallic purple Danny leather bag. I really like, like the color, but the price is horrendous. Come on, footage. This really nice blue and like dark blue, light blue, very max and kind of very nice all wool. I really like it, but the color on this one's really nice. I usually find these in neutrals, and I'm getting sick of it. But this color is just and it's it's an XL. It is, or even bigger. I mean, even oversized if, XL for oversized, sure for a woman. But even if you're small, you could wear it as an oversized sweater. Yeah, good for winter. Anybody's nice. interested? Look at this, like oh, it's so nice. It's just nice. I love the 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 zipper is blue too. Yeah, it is. It's so. cool. It's a really good detail on this one. Yeah. I like it. And there's no holes or anything. It's in nope. great condition. Great. Right there. Oh my gosh. Does it fit? It does. I want to try it on. Anyway, let's show you these. Star Wars Y2K shirt. Nice. It's on that tag. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> you think this is vintage? Do I think it's vintage? Like, yeah. inner, but look at that tag. Like this makes it think that, like look at how worn that is. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, it's older. But it's not, well, and it looks tiny, eh? Yeah, pass on that. Pass. This cool like cow shirt. Canola meal moves at me. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Look at the price on this Harley shirt. Ew. <laughs> Twenty dollars for that? Disgusting. I'll leave it. Uh, what was this? This is a cool shirt, actually. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but oh, it has all the stats on the back. Yeah. And then there's this other Harley. It's Harley shirt. This one's a pocket tee. Okay. But I like the back on this one. Yeah. Chicken. What's How the much price? Is that? What? <laughs> Too much for <laughs> We haven't done this in forever. <laughs> Daniel's doing a haul. Yay. <laughs> Ashley, it sort of looks like you. <laughs> Just like her Yeezy foams. Tinky, right? Is that his name? No, that's Brain. Okay, well, I don't know. I've never watched the show. He has a nice, like, tropical looking shirt on. Look at this tail, though. Look at this thing. <laughs> I love that. It's actually you white. You hang it on someone, probably. Something. <laughs> You could eat. It has a tag on it too. 1997. Yeah, 97 Warner Brothers Studios. Really cool. I like it. It's huge. Like, look at it compared to our heads. Crazy. Ah, I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking for? If you guys know what this band is, they're Canadian. Billy Talent. I love them. I saw them during this tour, but one of their zip up hoodies. Really nice. Got a back design on it, size medium, if you guys are a fan of them. But they're an awesome band, check them out. Uh, what are you doing with your neck? I can do whatever I want with my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like this find. I found this like 
straight off in the morning. This thing is so cool. This is the Miami Hurricanes University Heather Gray crew neck. Fits uh, like yeah, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. I... What? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you okay? Hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo -da, hoo <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is an amazing piece. No, it's actually really cool. I love this. Cane, cane, cane. Cocaine. Cocaine. Okay. This piece is really nice. I Sometimes really like Sometimes you want a little hit of cocaine once in a while. Even the subject of today, it seems like. Just put that there for a second. This jacket is beautiful. Check it out. You are beautiful in every single way. Mondetta Varsity Leather Wool come, Jacket. Come, can't come you. Can you explain the history of this jacket? I actually? can. Okay, please do it. Because I am not good. Montana, Republic of Kenya. I should know about. I'm a baby bar. Is that the Lion King song? <laughs> it is. The Kenyan series. Made in Canada. Montana. They, they did them for almost every place. Like Haram Harambi? Harambi with that kind of like crown thing. Is that. Um, guys, I. Wait, is is Kenya a city? Oh my god, Kenya is a country. <laughs> no, it is. No, Kenya is a city. Africa's the continent. That's what I thought. Kenya's Just the stop. country. Stop. Wait, Kenya's a country. What does it say on the bottom? The no, wait, is Africa a country? <laughs> or is Africa the continent? <laughs> so the dumb. The continent. Wait, is it? So it's like. Okay, delete all one, of One, two, three, Main Street, Kenya. <laughs> School was a long Zimbabwe, time ago. Zimbabwe, Africa? Is that how you would write? I don't know. I don't know. Can we talk about the jacket, please? <laughs> Look at the like, wanna, Mondetta font on there. I want to polish up on my African history. You'll have to go home and do that. You won't watch about like serial killers. <coughs> you know, learn about history. Anyways, really nice jacket is what we're trying to get to. I really like the design of <coughs> We're going to get through this. Hurry up. Look at the back. Pick places to go, people are fucked. What, Ashley? <laughs> people are fucked. Ashley, stop. You don't have one of those dates today, <laughs> Ashley. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like he knows. <laughs> like he knows. Okay, Wait, nice jacket. You've seen it enough. You've seen enough. Uh, everything's leather trim and leather whatever. It's honestly, it's in good condition. It has it a bit is. of a, a bit of like wear right here. Not, nothing major. It's a really nice uh, late 90s jacket. And they've done a lot of different places, countries, continents. But this one, I don't know, stands out. It's super bold. Nice. And then we also found a Hudson's Bay blanket. We found love in not, a hopeless place. <laughs> it's not <laughs> officially a Hudson's we Bay blanket. <laughs> Stop, it's not karaoke. <laughs> okay, we gotta find the label so I can show everyone. This one is uh, a Whitney Worth Point. Point? Whitney? Worth Point, that's a website. Whitney as in Whitney Point. or Whitey. Oh, it's stop. Like... Literally stop. <laughs> it's spelled like Whitey. But Whitey? It's not. Yeah, Whitney. where's the WH? It's <laughs> Whitney, Whit Whitney Point blanket. It's got a band. And I. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> we will always we love you. Oh, it's so dusty. It's not. That's why we're itching and sneezing today. Okay, no, it's actually fine. It's just an old wool blanket. That's all you got? Yes, that's all we got today. Well, I guess you guys missed got. out on the last few days. We've had some. This was a good week. I like this week. We we're back at thrifting on a regular basis. We just gotta convince Ashley to upload videos, so comment down below to motivate her to post videos. I'm trying to, but she's just not listening to me. I'm telling them the truth, Ashley. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it was a good week. Last week was, mm, it was bad. Yeah. What are you taking that one for? <laughs> that's it though, I think, to be honest. What, what's that white thing? Oh, that's the pinky. Or that's the brain. Uh, guys, I'm done. It's been a long week. I was done yesterday. It's Friday. Okay, we're done. Just turn done. it off. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Fuck off. I have no words for this. Okay, we're going now. Do we have, any stories, to, do we have any stories to tell them today? Mm. Anything exciting in your day? Nothing? Anything exciting during our trip? Gotta be some more. Batter. Your what? Oh, did you tell them about your winter jacket? You gotta talk about that. We'll talk about that. <laughs> show you guys we got this coach bag for i think we paid like six dollars and fifty cents for it it is a factory outlet bag 
Actually, it's not a factory outlet bag, but it's an older kind of style. Actually, like this, to me, this screams like factory outlet, even though it's not, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it was before they started making factory outlet bags. I don't know. But yeah, it's kind of like that. It has that kind of opening. And we paid $6.50 for it. I feel like we're just going to sell this for maybe um, $15 to $20. Not much on this one. Because there is like some darkening on the leather. Uh, the canvas is in great condition though. But like there's some darkening. Like, there's a stain right there. But I mean, we will like double or triple our money. And I'm okay with that. Next, we picked up this Matt and Nat bag. This one was uh, $20 less, 20% off. I've sold this exact style already for $60. So I'm hoping to get that, like a kind of like a navy blue. It's in great condition. There's no wear on it. Um, when you're picking up Matt and Nat bags and vegan leather bags, these tend to, especially the Matt and Nat brand, they tend to uh, wear and crack and damage easily usually the corners anywhere where there's a fold that would start to crack um like this this would be prone to cracking so whoever had this bag really took care of it and didn't really use it a lot i feel like because there's not even a lot of scuffing or anything but it's like a doctor style bag so we paid i guess like 16 dollars for it i feel like we can get again maybe like 50 to 60 for it because it's a top handle and the crossbody strap we picked up a few SLGs. Um, we picked up, see, I'm not normally picking these up anymore, but because I'm actually going to be a part of a vendor sale come winter with Daniel, we decided to go in together and get a booth. So I'll be doing my first vendor sale. So I'm so excited about that. So I have been picking these up um, because it's different when you're selling online to when you're selling locally to when you're selling um, at a vendor sale. I feel like it's a different market. People are probably willing to pay a little bit more at vendor sales. These I'd be lucky to get, you know, 10 to $15 uh, online. It's still a tr struggle. If I sell this for 15 to $20, even like $25 at my vendor sale, I feel like I can get a lot more money because people, you know, are there and they look and they can see. And so, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we picked that up. This one up for $7 less 20% off. I feel like I can get an easy 20 for this at the vendor sale. And if I were to sell this online or locally, I'd be lucky to get 10 to 15. So um, yeah, so if there's anybody from Winnipeg watching this, don't uh, forget to go to the vendor sale that is gonna be December 4th at the Maples uh, Community Center. It's on Adsome Drive, Google it, look it up. Um, I'm so excited for it. And um, if there's anybody local that's going to be there, you know, come by my booth and table. I'll be there with Daniel. Um, Duny and Burke, this one was $11 less, 20% off. I love like the kind of Scottish print. Is that Scottish? Yeah, really good for that. I'll probably get 20 again for this. This one we've up paid for. It was $15 less 20% off, but I do love Fossil. The leather on this is phenomenal. I'll probably lot it with a bag. If I sell it alone, I'll probably, you know, charge 25 for it. It's just such good quality. Yeah, and this has like softened. The leather has softened and aged, but you can't even tell it from the looks of it. Like it looks literally brand new. There's no fading on the leather. It just feels so nice and smushy and high quality. So we picked up this fossil bag for $12. It was 15, less 20% off. I was a little iffy on it, but at the same time, it was kind of like, it is a really good style. Like you can carry it tote style like this, or you can flap it over and do it like a crossbody style like that. Um, very versatile. And I don't know, I just felt like getting it for that price. It has a little key dongle that fossil always has on their bags. I'll probably sell this for 30 to 40. We picked up this Michael Kors bag at a little like thrift store that nobody goes through. It's like off the beaten path. Um, Michael Kors, it was $30, $33 after taxes. I bought it because it's not factory outlet. It's an older Michael Kors style and it has like the top handle and the cross body strap. I'm not a fan myself of this color, like even like the matte nat one, like that kind of blue. I don't know, I'm just not like a fan of it, but I do uh, think that a lot of people like it. So we ended up picking this up for 33. I'll probably sell this for 60. I love the double zip pockets on the front and they are functional, they're not just decorative. This bag I normally, this brand I normally don't pick up anymore, but since I'm having that vendor sale and it was only $9 less 
20% off or $2 off, one or the other. I picked it up. And also, like, the condition of it is primo, no wear on it whatsoever. And I love, like, I just added this. Uh, Mary <laughs> threw this in during our uh, little whole big bag haul from Minneapolis. So thank you, Mary, for this. It is leather. But I just added it to the bag to kind of give it some oomph. Um, I love these, like, the silver hardware on it. And it is like one of those vag bags where it's like a huge hole in the middle and then two zipper compartments there. And I'll probably sell this at the uh, event for maybe like $20, $25. Picked up this coach bag. I've thrifted this multi multiple times before. This one has a little bit more wear. Well, not really. No, not really. It's slight, but not really. I I've sold this before for like 50, 40, 50. Um, this one was $6.50. We're happy about that. <laughs> the inside is super clean. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I lied. $10.50 less a $2 off coupon, so it was $8.50. But the inside is like, well, it's a little dirty, but maybe I need to clean that out. So um, this I'll sell locally for maybe $40, or like maybe even at my event to sell it for $40. So very cute. And I feel like a lot of people love this op art print. This I was kind of hesitant on because, I mean, I don't know a lot of people that wear wired headphones anymore, but it is Beats by Dre, Monster Beats by Dre. Um, these came out in 2012, I think, where they were popular in 2012, and these retailed for 200 once upon a time. It is missing the cord for it, so that's kind of an issue, but I mean, I don't know. I do remember owning these in 2012 too. So they were the headphones of all headphones. And when you wore them, you were like super cool. But they work great. The sound is still great on them. I mean, I paid $10, so I couldn't go wrong with that. Um, but yeah, I picked them up nonetheless. Would you have picked these up? I don't know. I feel like they were kind of an impulse buy because I have like a pair of Studios Wired and then I have a pair of... Um, studio pros no studio pro wired ones those were like super expensive back in the day and then we have the wireless studios so we have like three pairs of these already two wired one wireless this one was a great find i love this bag i'm not a fan of red it's probably my least favorite color when it comes to bags but um i couldn't not not get it for uh, $20.50 and then we use a 20% off coupon so we paid like $16, $18 for it. It's in perfect condition guys, perfect condition. It has the hang tag, this has no scuffing, back has a zipper, top handle, crossbody strap and the inside has this beautiful like paisley lining. Let's look at that. Oh so cute and this retails for over 300 brand new so we weren't not gonna not <laughs> get it um, and we paid yeah we paid like $18 for it and some change. I'll probably sell this for $50 to $60. We picked up this North Face women's winter jacket. I was kind of trying to steer clear of picking up any more jackets because I literally have a ton, but I guess now I have inventory for the for the event. Um, this is a women's large. It is, inside it's kind of like that fleece material. We paid a good price for this actually. Um, I think it ended up being like $33 after the discount. And it has North Face there and then North Face on the shoulder blade right there. And it's a beautiful color. It's in perfect condition. Like there's no wear on it whatsoever. And it's Velcro button and zip. So it's like triple the protection. Alexa, off. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that I feel like was a good price. I mean, I think this retails for like $300. This too was a steal of a deal. This is coach it's a coach parka retail on this is 600 close to 700 on sale i think it was like 300 and um it's a great parka it's a down fill you have like the elastic kind of like cuffs you have um the sherpa detachable hood okay so the hood is like not completely sherpa lined but like the trim is sherpa and you can actually remove the trim and remove it separately from the hood or even like remove the hood completely. So I thought that was very versatile. Um, this too was $40 less 30%, 20% off. There is the coach tag. So, oh, well, 37, 37 less 20% uh, off. It's a good style too, I love it. 
it's a size large as well. So we have those two, the North Face and this one. I plan on selling the North Face for maybe like, I don't know, 60 to 80, and then the Coach for maybe like 100. Um, last two bags, we picked up this Marc Jacobs. I thought this was so cute. I love the color blocking on this, the multicolor. Yellow, like a blue, I don't know what this is, a peach, I don't know. And then the yellow underside with black trim. And you have like this uh, strap. <laughs> and yeah, this was $35. So they did upmark this a lot. But I saw this, um, this exact model sold on Poshmark for $128 plus taxes and shipping. So um, I mean, I thought that was still a good deal. We ended up paying like less than $30 for it. Um, and the inside... It's cute. I have it stuffed because it was a little bit misshapen. So I am trying to get the shape back a bit. Or maybe like $80. I feel like that's a good price for Marc Jacobs. This probably retailed for, I'd say, $300. Definitely $300 back owed the day. So we got this Marc Jacobs. And the last bag, which is my favorite find, and probably based on what we paid, the you know, really, really good find, is this Michael Kors Hamilton bag. It matches my jacket. This is the Michael Kors old style Hamilton in the studded denim and crop print. Ugh. This is back in the day when, I don't know, when Michael Kors still did like really, really good quality, really, really good designs. I don't know. I just feel like now they're just oversaturated and they're not very, um, they're not, not very like fashion forward anymore and their quality has decreased, I feel like. But this is like in this denim, in this kind of like waffle print, not waffle, what is this? Maybe mini waffle, waffle print denim. You have the studs all over, and then you have the croc embossment, or yeah, croc or alligator. Um, you have the lock and the key, and it's in such great condition. I feel like they priced it this way because they thought it was fake. It was literally $17 less 20% off, and you know it's older style Michael Kors. Well, basically they don't make this style anymore. They have a new version, an updated version of the uh, Hamilton, which I don't like. But you can tell by the inner lining, which is, can you see that? Like that. That's how they're old. I think this is the lining they did around at least pre-2015. So maybe 2000, no, maybe 2017 and under is when they used to do this kind of like, circle with the mk inside um but yeah i am so in love with this bag uh it is i mean big bags are kind of making a comeback and, and it's big it's big as hell <laughs> but i love i wish it had well no i feel like a bag this size a top handle and a shoulder strap is suffice i don't think you would kind of utilize this as a crossbody at all but i am so in love with this bag probably one of the one of, one of my favorite bags i've thrifted in a while and I'm kind of shocked because it's Michael Kors, you know. But Michael Kors has done a lot of bags in the past where I find it and I'm like super in love with it. Um, but yeah, it's he's. He, I wish I appreciated this back in the day when it was um, still kind of like a cool thing. I feel like Michael Kors post 2017 has gone downhill and a lot of people just look at him as, a, you know, like a generic kind of designer. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing like luxurious. But his old bags definitely, for me, make a statement for sure. Anyway, guys, that's all that we got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which item I thrifted is your favorite. And if you're from Winnipeg, don't forget to head down to the vendor, the winter vendor sale in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. It's Naples Community Center on Adsum. If you need the exact address, I'll have all the info on the down bar below. And it's going to be so exciting because it's my first vendor sale. Daniel has done these a million times, but... A little nervous, a little nervous, but also excited. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.